08 and with more here's Matt. All right, Meredith, thanks very much. If you're traveling by air this holiday weekend, you just may run into this new high-tech device at the security checkpoint of a local airport. It's called the Millimeter Wave, and it allows security workers to see underneath the passenger's clothing to detect weapons, explosives, or any other threatening device. Some people call it a breakthrough, others call it an invasion of privacy. Ellen Howe is with the Transportation Security Administration. Ellen, good morning to you. Hi, Matt. Talk to me about the technology. Real quickly, how does it work? A passenger steps into the machine and it bounces radio waves off your body. Harmless waves? Harmless radio waves, less than even a cell phone call. So those radio waves are then transmitted to a remote location where another security officer will view a 3D image of the person and be able to see if they have anything hidden How under graphic their an image is that person viewing of the person beneath the clothing? It looks like a fuzzy photo negative. Okay. Now we should mention these are this device is being used for people who have set off an alarm at the regular checkpoint. Not correct? Necessarily. So yes. anybody can go in? Anybody can go in. It will be a random selection of people, but it is in the primary. It'll either be before the walkthrough metal detector or after, depending and, on the airport. And the passenger has an option of using this new technology or going through a routine physical pat down, correct? Right. All right, we've got Eric and Kathy here who have volunteered to go through this device for us. So Eric and Kathy, one at a time, and again, this is screened by someone in another location. Why don't you head in, okay? okay. So would you like to divest anything out of your pockets at this time? Well, I have nothing. Okay, I'm just stepping into exactly what to do. Okay. Now, Ellen, as we see this, and we're going to see the image, we want to mention that NBC, we are going to blur the results in the private areas. This is not what would happen at an airport. The screener would actually see everything as Kathy now goes in here. Why is it so important that the person screening the image, and we blur it again, the private areas, why is it so important that the person screening this is separated from the actual device? It's a privacy concern. We have several privacy concerns in place, measures in place. One is we blur the face. The, pe the person who sees you at the machine will never see your image. The person that sees the image will never see you, and the images are not saved or stored. So for embarrassing reasons, this young lady here would never see, after she's met them, would never see their full body image. And and the exactly. person over there would never see their faces to identify what he or she has just seen. Exactly. Okay. So how did you feel about that and how would you feel about that in an airport knowing that somebody is sitting there getting to see pretty much everything? If we just did it in front of six million people, I've got no <laughs> problems with an officer at the airport. And you, well, Kathy? I was very comfortable and I think it's a very efficient system. And you would choose this over a physical Definitely. pat down? No questions about it? And again, how many airports is this going to be in use? It's in about 10. We have 38 machines that will be rolling out between now and the fall at those same 10 airports. So again, it can be used randomly to pick certain passengers out. If someone does trigger the normal security alarm as they go through the metal detector, will they be asked to step into this line? They may also be asked, yes. All right. Ellen Howe, thank you very much. Thanks. Eric and Kathy, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Coming to an airport near you very soon. Let's go inside.